When people remember Gus Garcia, they usually recall the moving presentation he made before the U.S. Supreme Court in 1954. Co-producers Placido Salazar and Efrain Gutierrez say it was more like an eloquent lecture by Gus Garcia about Mexican-Americans in response to the attitude of some on the high court back then. Some guys, even on the bench, were saying, well, don't they call them greasers down there? They thought we were, did we speak English? Were we citizens? You know, stupid question like that, asked by the justice at that particular time. Garcia and a powerful legal team were appealing the conviction of a Mexican-American by an all-white jury. He was not given all of his rights as a citizen, uh, and Gus picked it up and he took it to the Supreme Court. And won the landmark case under the 14th Amendment, guaranteeing equal protection under the law for Mexican Americans, eventually leading to school desegregation and other victories for their civil rights. He was a genius. I mean, and people say, when you heard him talk, te dejaba con la boca abierta. Yet too often, they say, Gus Garcia's astounding legal genius for civil rights has been overshadowed by his untimely death at 48. Contrary to popular belief, the documentary tells a much different story about how it was that Gus Garcia came to die here at what was then the farmer's market. Salazar says Garcia may have been an alcoholic who'd lost everything. However, Gus Garcia did not die on a park bench. Gus Garcia did not die friendless. In an interview before his death, attorney Richard Acevedo says his uncle, a vendor in the old farmer's market, had told him to check on Garcia, who'd fallen off the cot his uncle kept for him. He was obviously losing consciousness, and uh, that's when he passed away. Yet they say it's Gus Garcia's pioneering legacy that bears remembering, even more so now. Jesse de Goyado, KSET, 12 News.